Hello, welcome to Complete Chiropractic Healthcare, the website of Dr. Greg Arnold, www.pitchingdoc.com. Today we're going to be discussing uh, The Mind of a Champion, October 2nd, 2015. If you look below the date, there is a hyperlink that will pull up a PDF, which is sometimes easier to read. So, when we're discussing our, our sports champions, and when they're winning, and they do well, a lot of times... The emphasis is on the work that's done on and off the field. And there's a great quote from Bear Bryant uh, from the University of Alabama, six national championships. It's not the will to win, but the will to prepare to win that makes the difference. So most young athletes and even older athletes are aware uh, of how hard you have to work uh, on the field and uh, conditioning-wise off the field uh, to become a champion. But uh, there's another aspect that is frequently overlooked but is just as important. And there was a new article uh, in the New York Times on uh, Novak Djokovic. If you look at it, here's the, uh, here's the article. It's called Novak Djokovic, the Unloved uh, Champion, and uh, September 7, 2015. And it, it talks about him because uh, he just won the U.S. Open and in uh, 2015, his match record was 56 and 5. Now, when they were talking about him uh, throughout the year, they kept talking about um, his switch to a gluten free diet in 2010. So it said Mr. Djokovic uh, found a new gear, and that was when he started to win uh, his titles. Since 2011, he's won eight Grand Slam championships. But when you talk to Novak about it, he says it, it was a highlight of, of going to the gluten-free diet, it helped, uh, but it wasn't the main reason that he started uh, to win these championships, but instead he states that the most reason, but the biggest reason why uh, he really started to win all of these championships was uh, his positive state of mind um, and his attitude. So, the quote that he uses, he talks about um, you either pro uh, progress or you regress. And uh, if, you, if you're the same player you were um, uh, today as you were yesterday, you're actually regressing. So he has, uh, is a big he has a big emphasis on the need to uh, control your mind and to and, ha and to have a, a positive state of being. And he talks about meditation throughout the article, um, but it, it, meditation is not used to get away. Uh, from everyday things, it's all about visualization. And if you can visualize what you want to do, if you can visualize yourself winning tournaments, uh, getting through tough workouts, uh, getting through tough times on the court, uh, he says you get the things that you produce in your thoughts. Life just works that way. So it was really great to see a, a tremendous emphasis on the mental aspect of sports, but probably perhaps most important of this mental aspect was he talks about his acceptance of failure on certain days. He talks about there are days when I throw the racket on the court, I scream or shout, gets into a fight with his, with his wife. He says those days happen, and anyone who says that those days won't exist if you do these particular exercises is lying. So... It's the acceptance of failure as a person and as an athlete uh, that is crucial to, to Novak's success because it means that he's adopted what's called a growth mindset. And the growth mindset is actually uh, the mindset that is adopted by many of the champion athletes. Uh, so... If you want to learn about the growth mindset, um, I have a presentation in my uh, my baseball video library. If you go to my website, um, you'll hit the banner at the top that says baseball video library. Uh, and here it is. And you can go down a little further uh, and you can watch a short video um, on the baseball video library. It has different uh video presentations on throwing drills, long toss, conditioning, uh, what to do on the field uh, between pitching starts and the bullpen. But one of the presentations is about the role of mindset in sports success. And it has to do with a, uh, ch a chapter in a book uh, by Dr. Carol Dweck, which you can see right here, uh, Mindset, um, how we can learn um, and to fulfill our potential, and it's a it's a nine minute presentation, but it talks about the growth mindset versus the fixed mindset, and how uh, your mind is just as important as your physical conditioning uh, to your overall success. So, uh, if you have any questions about this newsletter or about the video library or the presentation, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me at the phone number, my email pitchingdoc at msn.com, or you can go to my website at www.pitchingdoc.com. Thank you.